We are fighting a war against fish. And we are winning. At one level, it's a question of how bad is it? Man is not going to change, and the sea going to be dead. But uh, in the Indian Ocean, it is said that there is no overfishing of the tuna industry. But when we come closer to Mauritius, uh, we all have relatives that one day, uh, uh, 20 or 30 years ago, that have been doing uh, game fishing from Mauritius, and they all said that uh, 20 years ago, we used to go out and catch big marlins, we used to go out and catch a lot of tuna, and it wasn't a problem, and we all have in all anglers clubs in Mauritius fishing clubs, nice photographs of uh, the fishermen standing between the, uh, close to big uh, empereurs and all that. Wow, it's magnifique. And now today, nothing, absolutely nothing. At night, if you just take the time in some regions, you, at night you take your binoculars and you see long liners coming close to the shore of Mauritius and fishing absolutely everything. First of all, they are too close to Mauritius. Secondly, they are fishing at night and all this is illegal. But now there is the political will to stop those kind of things. And the only way to stop that is for us to voice out our, our point of view. There will be a point in the future where we will run out. What is the tuna that you serve? <laughs> and how is it caught? The difference between this and other problems is that actually it is relatively simple to solve. People say, where are the, all the fish gone? Where are they? We have eaten them. documentary about it before, but not personal fish, but on chicken now. Now seeing the fish, that changes my mind completely because I kind of stopped eating chicken. But so most you fish. stopped eating fish? Right? Well, I won't stop eating fish, I love fish, but I will definitely ask myself before eating it, where does it come oh, from? I wish I wish something this, so what do you think we can do? Well, I don't think we can do much as the government doesn't have very much money. Yeah, like, you do petitions and things like that? Well, like, I, I heard there was farms, but I don't know if the farms are very success, successful like these. Like saw that. Yeah, I heard that one at Dubé is sponsored, but the other one isn't sponsored yet, so yeah. I don't know what's going to Well, I, I heard there's conservations, reef conservation as well. You can join it's those groups. It's quite frightening because it's all happening, and so fast. Right. I, we didn't expect this. I didn't expect this to happen. You know, we think, oh, this fish farm is going to be okay. We're learning geography. It's all going to be all right, but it's not. 